Welcome back everyone to a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up an item shop bot in your discord server This will constantly update without you having to do anything at all It'll update just after the shop changes in real time And it'll always be correct I never had issues with it like being a fake item shop It's always the right item shop and it works super simply It's free and super easy to set up So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that So moving into my discord server right here uh, just proof that it works. I'll show you guys quickly. But if you guys want to learn how to make a patch note spot after this video, I'll put up a card on the top right of the screen. Click that after this video if you want to learn how to make a patch note spot. So it automatically says all of the patch notes in a specific channel. But yeah, this is how you do this. So first steps first is we're going to make a new channel. So all you gotta do for this is once you have your server, obviously in your server, you just click create channel, text channel, and I'll just do example, item shop. Create the channel, put it in the category of your choice. From here, right click, edit channel, permissions, and then you wanna make this check X. Okay, so you're just gonna make everything X except for these three make everything else on x this is going to make it so that people can only invite people to the channel or uh read the messages so they can't type or do anything like that and uh we're going to give the bots uh a bot role so that they will be able to uh still send messages but only you and the bots and admins in your server can send messages so that it's not going to be clogged with random people's messages only the item shop so make read message history uh, read messages and create invite on on everything else x and then just save all right from here uh we want to go on to google chrome or whatever browser you use the link for this website will be in the description it's completely free not sponsored by the way so look up fnbr item shop discord bot or click the link in the description whichever you want first link all right, from here, you just want to simply click invite to your server. It's going to take a second to load, so just be patient. All right, from here, what you want to do is you want to select your server. And then just allow it to do all these things. It doesn't matter because we're going to be giving it a bot role, aka admin. Anyway, don't worry about giving it admin. It's not going to do anything bad. It, doesn't, it hasn't done anything bad to me in the past, what is it, seven months. So, uh, yeah, just authorize. I'm not a robot. Click that. And you're almost done. Already, you're almost done. All right. So, next, you just want to click right here, server settings, roles, and then you want to add a role. I already have a role, so I don't really need this one, so I'm going to delete it. But uh, pretty much you want to add a role, and you're going to name it bots. Give it any color you want, doesn't matter. And then you're just going to make sure admin is checked. That's that's it. That's all you need for that. And then from here in your online or something, or over here or something, uh, just look for it, or you can just search for it. Um, just find the bot that is called fnbr.cobot. You just got to find it in your online people. It's always going to be online, so it shouldn't be hard to find. Once you found it, it's going to say fmbr.cobot. Right click, roles, and then make sure you give it the bot role that we just checked. And then now we're pretty much done. All we got to do is, as you can see here, how I set it up. Oh, my bad. Wrong, wrong spot. All you got to do is uh, do fnbr help. Then you do FNBR configure shop. Make sure the spelling's right or it will not work. Hashtag and then the channel that you made. Enter. And then you're done. Shop notifications will be sent to your your channel here, whichever you made. That's literally all it is. And then just just to show you guys here, if you guys want to test it, you can do shop and it'll show the current shop. If you do FNBR shop, it'll do the current shop. You don't really have to do this all the time. Um, 
just do it right as you make it so that it shows the shop currently. And then the rest will update automatically as long as you're done configure shop and then the channel. That's literally it. And it'll update uh, about 10 to 20 minutes after the item shop goes live. Right here. Um, oh my god. Wrong channel again. So right here, just a random example. It usually updates about like 15 minutes after the item shop is gone. So 8.15 EST, it'll about update. That's literally all there is to it. If you want to delete it for whatever reason, you just do FNVR configure shop exclamation examples item shop off. Oh, or something like that. It doesn't matter. If you if you really want to take it off, you just delete the channel. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just make sure you get the bot link description. Then uh, give it the bot slash admin role. Make a channel that is on read only. And then just type this. All you really need to type in is FNBR configure shop. And then exclamation. And then choose the channel you made. That's literally all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. My Discord server link will be in the description. If you guys would like to join. I'm going to delete that because I don't need it anymore. It was just for the video. And yeah, hopefully this helped you guys out. Join my Discord in the description. Feel free to become a member, buy some merch, or follow my Twitter slash Instagram in the description. Check all that out. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I hope this helped you guys out.